come now in our service to the exchange of rings. You have chosen rings today as tokens of your marriage, token covenant and agreement. They are made of gold, a metal that is not easily tarnished, and one that endures forever. These rings are an endless circle until broken by some outside force and are a symbol of the unbroken marital union which God has established. Let's unite together in prayer as we think of the significance of the exchange of rings. Our loving Father, we ask that these rings may become constant reminders of the promises that Alan and Janelle have made this day. May their love forever encircle one another as the rings encircle their fingers. Allow these rings, O oh Lord, to remind them also of your love that encircles their hearts through Christ, who has brought us into the circle of your love and the everlasting kingdom. We pray in Christ's name. say to Janelle, I give this ring to you, I give this ring to you as a token, as a token of the agreement, of the agreement made between us, made between us, sister, sister, and as a pledge, and a pledge of my love, of my love and commitment, <laughs> and commitment to you, <laughs> to you, wear it with love, wear it with love and joy, and joy in the name, in the name of the Father, of the Father and of the Son. to turn to your hymn sheet. If you haven't a hymn sheet, then the blue hymnal in front of you, the hymn is number 263. 263, or it is printed on the hymn sheet. Gracious Spirit, Holy Ghost. And we're singing about love. That is the love that Christ has shown us, which is a giving love. That is the prayer that we ask that Alan and Janelle will share together a giving love throughout their lives together. The hymn, Gracious Spirit, Holy Ghost.
and commitment. You have exchanged pledges to each other as a witness and have given rings as a seal of your solemn words before God and this congregation of the promises you've made to each other. By the authority entrusted in me through Christ and his church and by the laws of this land, Australia, I now declare that you are husband and wife in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The God of all love has joined you together as husband and wife. Go now in peace, trusting that the love you now know will forever make you one. Now, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs>
and I put away childish things. In the same way, we can see and understand only a little about God now, as if we were peering into his reflections in a poor mirror. But some way, we are, day, we are going to see him in his completeness, face to face. Now all I, all I know is hazy and blurred, but then will I see everything clearly, just as clearly as God sees into my heart right now. There are three things that remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. What an encouraging word that is from God's word. We know, Alan and Janelle, how much you do love God's word because you are committed people. And uh, the folk of this church are very thrilled at your marriage and they have asked me to present to you on their behalf a very special gift that we know that you will take and treasure and read throughout your married life together. And on a page we have here written, presented to Janelle and Alan on the occasion of their marriage. At Wentworth Hill Baptist Church on Saturday the 31st of May 1986, by their many friends, with love and support and prayer. God's richest blessings to you both, now and always. Signed on behalf of the congregation. We'd like you to accept that. We accept you. won't expect you to carry it right now. But we trust that you will accept it and uh, use it and remember those who love you and who share this day with you as you do. It is a very special joy for all of us here this afternoon. There's an atmosphere of this wedding. Not because of the words that have been said and the hymns that have been sung. It's because of the couple who have been married and the fact that you love the Lord. You both belong so much to this church. The people love you both. One of the great exciting things is that you are both Christians. People who have faith and commitment in God through Christ and all that he has done for you on the cross. This is meant for you, putting your own ambitions aside and following the Lord in all the days of your life. And that means sacrifice, it has been sacrifice to you both in the days leading up to your marriage. But those who love him, including you both, God promises to bless. How has he blessed you? Number one, he has brought you together. Two people who love him, and he gives you to each other. And that's a beautiful thing, isn't it? We know you both prayed that you would meet and marry the person of God's choice. That has happened. And that's why we come to celebrate and worship today. In a way, we can say to you both, you've got it made. For you're starting on a very sound foundation. But provided, with us all here, of course, you remember one thing. God has given you each other to be committed to each other. 